Today I'm on the state border of California and Nevada at the Ivanpah Solar Power Facility. The facility was built around 2013-2014. It uses three 450-foot towers. Surrounding those is 173,500 heliostats, which are essentially mirrors on motors that focus the light directly onto a boiler at the top of the tower, where they heat the water and produce steam to run the turbines and create power. A different sort of solar power than just using solar panels. Instead, these heliostats are constantly moving following the sun as it traverses the sky, pointing its rays directly at that single point. The Ivanpah Solar Power Facility was supposed to be the first of many, kind of an inspiration, a flagship for facilities like it around the country. In 2014, it was the world's largest solar thermal power station. It cost $202 billion to build and covers 3,500 acres. It was actually downsized from 4,000 acres that it was meant to be covering. But almost immediately after its construction, it faced a whole set of controversies. The first is that it requires natural gas to actually start operations each day. And then once the sun rays get going, continuing on the boiling of water and the steam flow, up until that point, the natural gas is used to boil the water and get the facility going. This has had some issues. It actually produces over twice as much pollution that is allowed by the state of California as their threshold for pollution output from factories and power plants. Of course, this is countered by the fact that it is producing power via solar. Other controversies included a misaligned heliostats, which were pointing at the wrong part of the tower and actually set one of the towers on fire, resulting in it being shut down, again, reducing its expected output. In the year following its construction, it actually only produced about 40% of what was expected. Follow-on issues have made it increasingly difficult for the system pr to produce the exact amount that it was expected to prior to its construction. Now you can see behind me, the closest and the furthest towers have the heliostats pointed at them. You can see the superheated air around it, oftentimes reaching over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the one in the middle doesn't have the heliostats pointed at it. It doesn't have that concentrated solar power directed at the top of the tower. That superheated air has also caused issues. Birds that fly through the superheated air combust and burn, essentially die before they even hit the ground. Workers call them streamers. From February to June 2014, nearly 300 birds were found around the facility, and it's estimated that upwards of 3,500 are killed each year. Additionally, the light attracts insects, which then attract more birds. Peregrine falcons, barn owls, and everyone's favorite yellow-rumped warbler have been found dead around the towers, having combusted from the superheated air. The facility was a big deal at its opening. It took on several investors of over $100 million each, including Google. And the governor at the time, Arnold Schwarzenegger, was on hand for the groundbreaking. But unfortunately, it hasn't lived up to its potential. After its first year, it was only producing about 40% of the expected output. In the following years, it's gone up slightly each year. But at this time, it's still not producing its expected output, estimated from prior to its construction. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, until next time, get lost.